about why I hate 3D movies. Yes, I said it. I hate 3D movies. And I'm going to tell you why, in explicit detail, why I loathe the 3D movie revolution. I think it's cheap, I think it's fake, I think it's pointless, and it totally detracts from telling a good story, which is what it's supposed to be about, right? Like, I don't know about you, but when I go to a movie theater, I'm going to get a story. I'm going to get a good story and go on this little adventure in these little people's worlds in the imagination of some writers and directors and actors in some far off place. And yeah, I mean like, if the visual stuff is great and if it's really high quality, that's awesome. But it has to add to the story, it can't take away from it and the story can't revolve around the effects. Oh my gosh, this is such a great movie. I'm so glad I spent $20 on this movie. In case you're wondering, the movie that inspired this video is Oz the Great and Powerful. Or is it The Great and Powerful Oz? We got it the other night at Redbox. Thought it might be a good movie. Uh, I'm not a big Franco fan. Rachel Wise is okay, and Mila Kunis is really good, but just like that script, that script was so awful. I'm really mad about this movie, okay? These effects are larger than life! Whoa, man, far out. And obviously it was a huge budget because they made this expensive 3D movie with these expensive actors, and then they just threw this story together, and the script is awful, and the dialogue is awful, and the jokes are awful, and the humor is just bad, and the cadence is just, ugh, like, whoever wrote it obviously never heard the whole show well thing. One of the first rules of creative writing. You're totally entitled to break those rules, but you gotta know what they are. Because basically in this movie, everything you needed to know, they told you in monologue. It was so irritating. Ugh. I've heard people use the excuse of like, oh, well, it's a kid's movie. Excuse you, Mila Kunis was freaking like stripping, like witch stripping in the middle of this movie in her little transformation scene. This is not a children's movie, people. Ah and if it was a kid's movie, you can still make engaging, good storytelling content even if you're aiming it at kids. I mean, come on. Disney, more than anybody else, should know how to make kids movies engaging. I mean, come on. Like, Aladdin had so much adult content in it. Aladdin pops in a brothel. Hello? Pretty adult content, but when you're a kid watching, you're like, ooh pretty ladies and he's trying to flirt and they don't really like him and they're pushing him back out a window. I really like movies and I get really mad when they don't work the way they're supposed to. Did you see that? It jumped out of the screen! 3D movies are really expensive. I feel like it's distracting. Wow! Butterflies! Ooh! Oh wow, I want to touch the butterflies too! Wow! I want to see the movie movie. I don't really want to go see it in 3D. It's just not worth it to me, especially that movie. I was like, how are you able to get away with this? I know it's Disney and I know that you have a lot of money, but why would you spend a ton of money on this big 3D movie when you're an expert in movie making and you know what makes a successful movie? Like, why would you spend all this money on something that you know is probably not going to be very successful? Wow, this five minute 3D montage doesn't take away from the storyline at all. Excluding Twilight, okay, that one doesn't count. But the big blockbuster movies are huge and high grossing for a reason. Part of it's good marketing. Part of it is the fan base. People won't go to see a movie, especially multiple times, if it's not good storytelling, if it's not good writing, if it's not good acting, like, why would you? This feels so relevant! I feel like consumerism is taking a real turn where we're going back to the era of appreciating art for what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am posting a video every day for the month of August, so be sure to subscribe. And then if you want to see my music, you can see some here. And if you want to see my other vlog, you can see here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. And the links to that are down below. Go ahead and comment and let me know what you think about 3D movies. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. No, no, no. Ooh. It's coming right.
right at me. Ah, no. This is such an experience. <laughs>